Hey everybody, it's Kevin from Cruising with Wheels and today we are up in the office and we have some cruise news for you. Stick around. So like I said, today we have a cruise news for you and uh, I actually have the press releases that we received from a few of the cruise lines. So the first I want to go into is about Carnival and pretty much all this information is about what's going on right now in 2020. Um, today is uh, May 12th. 2020 and we're still dealing with the COVID-19 issues um, with the cruise lines with cancellations and they're extending pauses so I just wanted to go through that Carnival is planning to return eight of its 27 ship fleet to service on August 1st uh, now they will be sailing from three different uh, American ports and those ports will be Galveston, Miami, and the Port of uh, uh, Canaveral, which is, of course, Orlando. Uh, the ships will operate primarily four to eight day cruises to the Caribbean. Uh, Carnival states it intends to use the intervening time uh, between now and August to develop certain protocols that they're going to uh, you know, developed, like I said, in conjunction with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control. Uh, you've all been hearing about that on television. It's what they're calling the CDC, uh, as well as with local authorities. Um, some of the company's other brands like Holland America and Princess, as well as their higher end Seaborn Cruises, will not be re-entering service until the late fall. So I'm sorry, cruisers. It is what it is. But they are saying that it's possible that they might begin service for those particular offshoots of the main Carnival Corporation brand by September 1st. Now, voyages to Alaska aboard the uh, Carnival Spirit and the Carnival Legend will be canceled indefinitely through 2020. Now, as we all know, this is a fluid, um, I don't know what you'd call it. It's a fluid experience. Everything is, is just kind of evolving as it's happening. So that may change. We don't know. Um, that's all speculation at this point. Now, the next little piece of information that I got came from Norwegian Cruise Lines. Uh, and what basically happened with them is they were really worried about, will we be able to continue cruising? How are we going to survive this? And they uh, tried to gather up, uh, they were hoping for $2.5 billion at the time. And this was like last week. Uh, and so you, you might all have seen some of those articles going around. The interesting, uh, you can probably hear my little Cece, she's drinking right now. But if you can't, I have Cece and Delilah in the office with me. They are assisting me today as I do cruise news. But uh, Norwegian needed to gather up $2.5 billion. That's right, billion dollars. Uh, and that was their plan uh, to help them survive for at least 12 months of not cruising. Now, the interesting fact is that they managed to get that money together in one day. Imagine what we could do for the world if we could gather that much money up in one day. But they actually went over and above that. They now have $3.5 billion in cash after new raising through equity and debt offerings. Norwegian Cruise Lines is here to stay. And that's a direct quote and has all the resources necessary to be successful through the COVID-19 global pandemic. That was a direct quote from Frank Del Rio. Um, and he predicts uh, that a phased return of the company's three cruise lines, and those would be um, 
NCL, or Norwegian as some people know it, Oceana Cruises and Regent Seven Seas Cruise Line will be in the fall. So all you NCL cruisers that have been messaging us, asking us, when are they going? Am I going to be able to go in August? Am I going to be able to go in September? They are only releasing at this point that they should be back to service in a phased reopening starting in fall. Now there's another quote here. And so it's quote, I'm not the one who's going to determine when the start or not. And it's going to be primarily the CDC working with the U.S. Coast Guard. And the CDC is really the number one gatekeeper here. And that was a direct quote from uh, Frank Del Rio. And Frank Del Rio also said that he envisioned, quote, as much testing as possible, and particularly for the crew on an ongoing basis, and the company is also working on more frequent and intense cleaning and disinfecting protocols. An expanded medical center seems to be very likely for most of the cruise lines. In particular, NCL did state that they are looking into expanding their medical centers. Um, and they're looking into uh, hiring more doctors and nursing staff as well as support staff for their um, medical centers. And they're also going to introduce an isolation area um, in the event that anyone does become infected on board. And that, you know, that is a major concern for a lot of NCL cruisers as well as other cruisers on all the other lines. And I think that most of the cruise lines will have an isolation protocol and will also have uh, cleaning and sanitation protocols every time they come back in and dock. Now, NCL plans to start resuming service beginning on July 1st of 2020 through July 22nd of 2020. And the home ports will be as follows. On July 1st, the Epic will home port at, in Rome. Uh, on July 2nd, the Sky will home port in Miami. On July 3rd, the Gem in Boston uh, and the Sun in Port Canaveral, Florida. On the 4th, the NCL Escape will be in Copenhagen. The Joy will be in Seattle. The Pearl will be in New York City. And the Pride of America in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, on the 5th, we will see the Bliss in Seattle, the Breakaway in Miami, the Encore in New York City, the Dawn in Venice, and the Spirit in Greece. On the 6th, the Jewel will be in Vancouver. On the 9th, the Getaway will be in Rome. The 12th, the Star will be in Southampton. And the 22nd, the Jade will be arriving and boarding in Barcelona. So we really do hope that um, that that will uh, really spur NCL along and push them once they've gotten gotten. I said it, guys, gotten once they have all their ships in the in the home ports that they want them to be in. Then they can start implementing all of the protocols and plans that they have in place to survive uh, this COVID nineteen. Uh, on a personal cruise news note, today I finally, finally was able to file unemployment um, and got that ball running. So I hope that that happens. It's been a long, long process for myself and uh, it's been a difficult process. Surviving this, I'm sure, as all of you are having the same issues with the unemployment system and getting uh, a financial boost to um, a difficult time not having you know your finances it's, it's a scary thing it keeps us up at night but I wanted to let everybody know that we're all in this together uh, we will bring you what news we have when we have it uh, if we do not do a cruise news on a particular issue. It's because we haven't received the information or we've already posted it on our social medias. So I do encourage you to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. We share any information that we get 
to all those social medias uh, as soon as we have them. Please try to follow us on all of them because sometimes I'm not able to share on Instagram or Twitter, whatever the cruise line has shared with us. Also, look into Cruise Chat. Frank has a, a, a Facebook group called Cruise Chat. It's welcoming to any cruiser from any cruise line. Uh, you just have to click to join. And if you're not already a re regular subscriber to Cruising with Wheels, you're watching this video, it takes two seconds and we would really appreciate your support by clicking join, uh, click that subscribe button and that little bell. And if you click that bell, it will give you notifications to all of our videos and posts on YouTube. But as always, we want to remind everybody to travel safe and cruise often.